Hey, what is going on, guys? My name's Long Sensation, and today we've got for you guys some more Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer information. This information is courtesy of Charlie Intel. A user or a fan has just purchased Call of Duty Ghosts, and he actually posted the um, Xbox 360 version of the disc, the case, and stuff like that. And for whatever reason, there's actually two discs included within the Xbox 360 version of Call of Duty Ghosts. More than likely, one will be an installation disc and one will be just to actually play the game. As of yet, that's all we know regarding the discs. However, the user has just posted the names of every single map that will be coming to Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer. So first of all, we've also got Freefall, and if you want to actually see the list of these names, I will post it on my Twitter. I can't actually post a list of the maps, just simply because I'll get copyright striked. But yeah, if you want to go and check it out, go to my Twitter, I'll post it on there. But the first map, we'll just go through the list of the 14 maps. Maps. The first one is called Prison Break, so it's really exciting. It's gonna kind of resemble Alcatraz in some way from Black Ops 2 Zombies. The se second map is called Octane, which we've seen a lot of gameplay from. We then have Tremor, which I believe will be the map where the kind of electronic uh, post kind of falls down and you know blocks off a certain area of the map. We then have Fright, as of yet, we're not sure what that map is about. We then have Whiteout, which is the snow map that we've seen a lot of gameplay on these past couple of weeks from a variety of different youtubers we then have stormfront which as of yet we're still not sure obviously it may be some kind of dark um maybe nighttime map where it's raining such as um you know kind of a hanoi map from black ops one apart from that we're raining um we then have siege um we've also got a map called warhawk we then have another map called sov sover rain which is, sounds like a really interesting map. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. We then have Stonehaven, which we lately seen at Eurogamer, which was re revealed. It was kind of the uh, Stonehaven type of map with, um, you know, the Stonehenge map where there's a lot of castles and a lot of kind of stone walls and stuff like that. We then have Overlord, which will be um, another kind of map that will be interesting to see. We then have uh, Chasm, which we've seen a lot of gameplay of as well. Reminds me of Bootleg. Um, from Modern Warfare 3. We then have Flooded, which kind of signifies that the dynamic map within that will be some kind of mass flood, um, which we uh, do know that Mark Rubin did actually comment on that a couple of months ago. And then finally, we do have Strike Zone, which of course we have seen a bit of gameplay on as well. But anyway, guys, it is now kind of official. We will be seeing a lot of gameplay, um, a lot of kind of, you know, uh, gold guns, weapons on gold guns, how to get gold guns, a lot of uh, information on challenges and stuff like that. So we're going to get a lot of leaked information in these next couple of days. So be warned or kind of stay tuned to my channel if you don't want to see some spoilers regarding campaign and stuff like that. Then, you know, just stay away from those videos. But if you do want to see a lot of multiplayer videos, then I definitely will be posting that on my channel within these next couple of days but anyway guys i've been long sensation go to my twitter to see the full list of the uh, map names if you wish but i've been long sensation thanks for watching this video and i'll see you guys later peace